If we talking looks, sound hooks, I'm the littest one. Just sent your wifey five a So fresh and fresh and clean. I keep it viewed on that Don Julio. Cause I be eating weed. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Tyson, and I'm feeling good. Doom doom. I'm fucking dead. Why have I been doing that all week? Yeah, the Chloe, then the Nina. Run up on the nigga, you. Run up, run. Okay, all right. Let me stop. I'm ready to get in the studio. Um. So anyway, the men have been meaning. All right, I apologize if that shitty accent offended anybody. My diaspic brethren and sisters, I cannot resist. I couldn't. At any rate, these niggas been fucking up. There we go. I did a little African-American cosplay, too. But at any rate, <laughs> no, but for real. These niggas, like, now, it, like, these, oh, my God. The last few days, it's just been exhausting being a fucking double X chromosome. Like, y'all... Y'all funky asses. Y'all funky asses. The entitlement. And I feel like it's only gotten worse by, um, it's only gotten worse by, um, with the last few years with all the, the rise of incel culture. And I feel like really it's not even so much that incel culture is taking over i think incel rhetoric has taken over like excuse me these men they act like maybe and maybe because they were on the pedestal you know before they were on the pedestal before the nerds maybe now they're not because women have up their standards i don't know maybe that's worth more of a deeper dive um into why that change has happened but these men like the everyday man is more susceptible to eating up that incel garbage trash that was just more so underground, you know, a couple years ago. And, you know, may he rest in hell, Kevin Samuels, because I blame him. He's one of the pioneers of this shit, especially when it comes to our community. And for BET to give him a fucking award, this is why we're not taken seriously as black people. This is why. And y'all can call it what the fuck y'all want to. I don't give a fuck. Like this, like we, oh my God, but we keep it real, right? Y'all got, oh my God, this community is fake as fuck for real. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, that's nasty as fuck. Um, but yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, it's been a, it's been a rough day being a double X chromosome and um, I just kind of want to rant a little bit because like men just really have to exist and I really want to get to like the crux of that kind of or just explore that a little bit and um, my most, most recent um, viewing of the situation was um or not viewing but the my, my most example recent example goddamn bitch can you talk <laughs> but yeah my most recent example is um the whole therapist situation that was happening over on twitter this therapist said she will not be taking male clients and you know, for people who are, for the gender who swears that women are so emotional and, you know, men are just more logical, anytime y'all are presented with something that y'all don't like, it, the reaction is just very visceral and disgusting it, when it's not that fucking serious. Bitch, you wasn't trying to get therapy anyways. Bitch, with your happily narcissistic ass. The fuck? But at any rate, neither here nor there. Um... This spawned a whole, like, I've been seeing it for, like, the past two days where women are telling, recounting stories. Um, if it's not their stories, it's their stories of their friends who are masseuses, who guys have pressured or tried to pressure into giving them happy endings. Or, like, hell, there are some women who don't take wax appointments from men because if they get certain tattoos, they'll climax. Like, there, it was so many disturbing and disgusting stories. Morgues. Don't hire men because men will f the dead body. Like, it was. And, and here's my thing. And anytime in life 
there are some saying there are some sayings that we say that are bullshit. But I feel like where there's smoke, there's fire. For the most part in life, nine times out of ten, usually that can apply. So all of these women cannot be lying on men, and I and that and that is what and one thing I'm not gonna do. This whole podcast, I'm committing to this now to let you know. So if that's going to piss you off, get off now. I'm not saying not all men. Because the problem is, it don't matter if it's not all. It's enough for it to be a problem. And one is enough for it to be a problem. There shouldn't be one man on this planet that feel like he can go and rape a woman because she said no. I don't care what you was feeling or what kind of vibe you was on. And a lot of y'all can't fucking read the room. So I know you you suck at personal interaction. So a lot of y'all be saying, oh, well, she was feeling it. And I don't know why she changed her. Bitch, she didn't like you, bitch. A lot of y'all niggas, like, oh, my God. And one thing that I really hate within our community as black people specifically is this whole good black man idea shit. First of all, bitch, a lot of y'all is just mad that you couldn't get with the girl first before the quote unquote thug got to her. Second of all, a lot of y'all black male nerds don't date the black girl nerds. So we just going to dis acknowledge that. Like, I don't know why y'all think just because niggas is nerds, they still not colorist, texturist, featurist. They still don't hate themselves. If anything, they're going to help hate themselves because the same black men talk, talking about good black men, them quote unquote good black men was the ones y'all niggas bullied, bitch. If you want to get motherfucking real. If you want to get real, this community fake as fuck. Talking about some, oh, black people are not a monolith. Yeah, bitch, that work until it's somebody you don't like, bitch. Then all of a sudden, only certain black people is worthy of respect. But if you know, you know, I ain't, I ain't going into all of that. I just had to get that shit off my chest because this community is so fucking fake. How are y'all, how are we the most accepting race of everyone but our own? Bitch. What? Why that back turbo? Shit. At any rate, <laughs> better what I was saying though. The good black man trope that y'all are throwing around. First of all, a lot of y'all are not good. Like, I, what is the scope of good? I wonder when black men say that. Because for me, you have a baby mama. You're not a good nigga. You're not a good man. Because why are you not married with children? Why are you reinstating our... um? Or re, why, the worst thing you could do, the most anti-black shit you could do, is make a black woman a baby mama. I, I will stand by that shit. Ten toes down. That is the most coonish behavior. That is the most selfish, irresponsible behavior. This damn nigga that y'all got trending... Talking about some goddamn, oh, he got seven kids and by seven baby mamas, but he told him he not fucking with them. And y'all over there, y'all let niggas exist because y'all sitting there talking about some, oh, well, I mean, he was honest with them. Fucking clown ass mammy bitches. And I don't like to call women that, but mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. And that's the thing, I'm at the point of my blackness where I'm drawing a line in this sand. To be honest, I don't even think, oh, dude, really. Has seven baby mamas. I, baby mamas. I think a lot of y'all black people, and I did this TikTok about this. So y'all go check my TikTok out. TMCKIE1997. Um, but I did this TikTok where I was talking about, I was high. And I was like, you know, I'm just thinking, and I'm like, I'm tired of black content creators embarrassing us and leaning in to our fucking negative tropes and stereotypes for content. And clicks and views. I'm tired of that shit. It's like a modern day minstrel show. How you gonna get mad at black people black facing when you doing it? Or you ratch facing, ratchet facing, ghetto facing, whatever you wanna call the shit. Hell, we always making up words and shit. There we go, boom, ghetto facing. I'm tired of the ghetto facing content. Like, it's so fucking annoying. You can't be funny without being colorist, without being texturist, without being featurist, without being anti-black, without talking about baby mama, baby daddy drama. Everything got to be hood and ghetto. Like, what the fuck? And again, I'm a person of balance. I don't have no problems with the hood or the ghetto. I haven't always lived a privileged life. Hell, these last few years, Joe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. At any rate, um... I 
just want to see better for us. And, and we have to get to a place. If nobody can call anybody out, if if every time black women bring up something that men do and black men, you don't even really have to say black men. They'll just, black men are, they're men first and black second. If they're even black second. <laughs> so they hear men and it's automatically fight mode. And the way that y'all talk to black women is fucking disgusting. And I'm speaking from a collective sense. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not going to appease y'all by doing that. Not all shit. Because collective means majority. That means it's enough. And that brings me to one of my motherfucking tweets. I said this. I said, I realized that it isn't. Oh, I realized it isn't that all men are bad. A lot of them are just enablers of bad men's behavior, which is like the getaway driver in comparison to the bank robber. Then they claim they're good men because they don't rob. Meanwhile, they're the fucking driver, bitch. You're the bank drive. You're the getaway driver. Why do you want respect for being the, you still contributed to the shit, bitch. Your friend is a three-time baby daddy. You don't call him out on his shit and hold him responsible for not creating all these fucking black homes, broken black homes. Yeah, bitch, I'm going to hold you accountable for that shit. I don't fuck with neither one of y'all. Like, that's just what it got to be. Like, it's too much of this shit that is normalized. And the way that you stop problems, you have to bring about solutions. And guess what? Solutions equal change. And change is not always the easiest thing. It's not. But we'll get through it. We resilient as black people. We will. And that means some people are going to have to be left behind. And I don't feel bad about saying that shit. Like it is what the fuck it is. Some of y'all are too fucking far gone. Who wants to rehabilitate a Chris Brown? Let's be real. I just saw poor Dochi. Why are you in that video with Kodak? I... And, and I wish black women had options in, in, I wish black women were as free with their blackness as black men are. You may as well be all this race loyalty shit and all this stuff. We all going to be mixed by the time 2053 happen anyways, baby. Cause your black hangs. Let me say it to my Paris Milan. <clears throat> black hangs. <laughs> The fucking dead. But no, for real, because these niggas is, is sleeping with everything that is not black. <laughs> So we already going to be mixed anyways, baby. You may as well date, hypergamously, get the men that you can get, get that bag. Yeah, love is important. We know that. Like, y'all keep saying, y'all y'all bring up the most childish ABC retort rhetorics when people quote uh, say, you know, that black women should be hypergamous and shit like that. Shit that y'all view as not monolithic to blackness. Because, again, like I said, we're not a monolith. Y'all don't. Y'all call that damn, uh, what's her name? I can't. I don't care remember her name, but she is a black lady. And she said her um, black girl luxury is going to, I think she said the farmer's market or some shit like that. Which, bitch, if that's what she said, like, the shit be $20 a jar, bitch. So, hell yeah, she better flex that shit. But, no, nah, she just said she can't relate to a lot of the black girl luxury that's out. And um, people were clowning her for that, saying she wanted to be a white woman. First of all, she she clearly black. Um, I hate that. And again, that's another thing y'all be talking about. We're not a monolith. Anytime a black person don't talk, excuse me, black enough for y'all, air quotes, y'all are trying to call them a white person trapped in a black person body. Like just so disrespectful. You going to call them the oppressors? Really, bitch? Because they don't talk the same as you? They don't have the same cadence as you? What the fuck? Like, at any rate, chill. Be right back. I need another drink. Ooh, y'all stressing me out. Ooh. Can I get a refill? Can I get a refill? I'm fucking dead. So, at any rate, that's what I was saying, though. Yeah, like, this community is just in shambles. And until we can get to a place to where we, as black men, and I hate even, I really hate even saying we, because I know most of y'all don't even, y'all don't even fuck with men like me. Like, y'all are nasty towards, I've realized that men are not so much 
they, they misogyny is definitely aimed at women more than anyone else. But if you're somebody who is not, let's say a man who is non-binary or a um, woman who is more so on the masculine side, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't appeal to what your gender is, when you don't conform to your gender. I was watching a video on this the other day. I should be able to articulate this, blah, 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 articulate, blah, blah, <laughs> articulate this better, but I'm high as shit. So at any rate, basically when you don't conform to your gender, um, it, oh, it differentiates in how men treat you. So really and truly, like when I say it is so, I, my identity as a black man, like it's been so trivializing to me because I want to see better for our community, but I also know that I have strife with black men just for being the type of black man that I am it's not palatable to y'all so y'all don't view me as and that's another thing too like men treat that's why I like when pretty privileged things come up men can talk about the hoes that they create all day long but when it comes to pop topics like pretty privilege and you know what I'm saying how men can be so predatorial with women you know who turn them down or maybe if the date didn't go well they're stalking them whatever the situation is all this shit that at this point women are so normalized to that they literally have to like carry self-defense weapons and shit and guns there are women who are uncomfortable with holding guns but they are making themselves comfortable so they can feel safe y'all don't gotta go through that men do not have to go through that so for y'all to act like, yeah, women got problems. They definitely do. But for y'all to act like it's not easier for men, it's brazy as fuck. And then y'all mistreat the men like me because the disrespect is with the energy. It's not necessarily the gender. You know, hell, I am light-skinned and effeminate young, or by society's terms. Young M.A. is light-skinned and masculine. She probably will get more respect from black men than I will. Like just giving a by a, a side by side comparison of what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? We we got the same things going on, but the energies are different. Well, that's what I mean by the same things. You know, she's more so a masculine woman, whereas society would perceive me as more so an effeminate man. You know what I'm saying? And I think you know a lot of factors stand in the way of that colorism. Um, I would definitely say. Um, Hell, it is it's misogyny essentially. And that's the thing too that men don't seem to get. Instead of blaming women, you need to blame misogyny. It is what's hurting you. Because the world is socialized to not accept femininity. Men like myself, we're disrespected. So and that's why I don't like when it comes to black men's fights. I'm sorry, but a lot of them shits y'all and y'all fucking know. I'm not gonna ever be the person that is going to fight for somebody that spits in my face and kicks me in the stomach every day. And if it's not me directly, it's my image. Y'all always talk a shit about Jaden Smith. But y'all let Tyler, the creator, do whatever the fuck he said. And that's what I be talking about with that colorism shit. Y'all let certain, sh certain shit fly from certain black men. Y'all don't sit there and talk down on Lil Uzi or um, Young Jock. In the same way y'all talk down on Bow Wow and, um, damn, what was that nigga name? I can't remember. And unless you ain't out here being a fucking aggressive ass nigga like Chris Brown, you getting roasted. And hell, even when you do the shit still, it's not good enough. I mean, granted, Drake is biracial and yes, I do differentiate, especially since hell, like niggas like him, that, that man look a rap child, <laughs> but at any rate, um, uh, that's why he quite as kept. That's why Drake felt the need to diss Megan Thee Stallion. He was trying to look black because that's the cool. That's cool for y'all. Y'all go at y'all women. Black men are so fucking disrespectful towards black women. And when people call shit out, and, and I expect it to a degree because the world hates accountability. They really do. They really do. Anytime we try to call some shit out, whoever the we is at that moment, Y'all always trying to pull up somebody's card. Oh, are you perfect? Are you this? And that's why no growth is ever going to happen, especially within our community. Because anytime you get to try and hold in, 
And I really just feel like it's black men, to be honest. I think we have black, the world has misogyny. We have misogyny noir. There is a heightened rate at which black men feel a scary, eerie amount of autonomy over black women. And the least I can give these incels like Brad and Chad is that their men have built empires for their women to have. They've built media promotions so they can feel secure about themselves. And hell, even with how misogyny works then, you got white women, you know, making themselves, um, uh, killing themselves damn near, trying to be skinny like um, Britney Spears or whoever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, those might have been two different connected thoughts, but I think I knew what the fuck I was saying. You know, they got systems that benefit the, you know, prototype look. But all these fucking biases, all these biases, maybe that's where I'm trying to go with this shit. I'm high as hell. All these biases, we know where they came from. But like I said with our community, I do feel like it's a heightened sense of misogyny, hence massage noir. It's a heightened sense of homophobia. It's a heightened sense. I, I can especially uh, speak to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a black man who is alternative and you don't have the right phenotype, you don't have the right skin tone, they will assume you're gay. And, and they will be, like, nasty about it. Or not nasty, but try to be slick about it. Like, why are you asking me that at work? I don't fucking know you, and I don't want you. You can't do shit for me. We work at the same store, baby. That bag is not enough. And also, you got goddamn um, the wrong equipment. Shit. And that's, that's another thing, too, that's annoying. You know what I'm saying? The way that men get done. I'll even say that. And hell, let's give the women a little bit of accountability. It annoys me when I see women call lemon water gay. What the fuck? So, you know what I'm saying? I'll acknowledge that the men are not wrong when they say that women mess up, too. And that was me holding both people accountable because, oh, Lord, I just be wanting to breathe, exist. You know what I'm saying? Um, for me, I have class intact, so I would never intrude on someone's sexuality. That's not my fucking business, I, especially if I'm not into you, because that's what it be giving me. And I don't like that. It'll get away. <laughs> um, like, I hate people. I'll kill you. <laughs> back up <laughs> but at any rate yeah um the disrespect the disrespect of you know the collective black man and just how nasty and you know y'all like to tell black women they are nasty and have bad attitudes but it's really y'all think about the most annoying bitch you know it's a nigga ain't he it's really y'all, the nasty attitudes. Like I said, men like me get it. Um, there be a lot of envy going on. I'll never forget. I was talking to this girl at the bar. And I don't even think I said anything but excuse me. And it's so funny because I'm a man who is more so viewed as an effeminate like in an in a in a in an effeminate in a effeminate light. But something that I think can back what I'm about to say is like, so men still view men who are effeminate as like competition. Um, and I was even say some gay men, like, can y'all remember when Arrogant Tate went viral for already twerking on him and people were saying, oh, she in a relationship, da da da, this that, and the other. You know, it's like almost like y'all don't consider gay men or men who are more so effeminate men until, excuse me. A woman is involved, maybe. I don't I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's too excuse me. Maybe that's too I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I meant to say. But y'all y'all almost like other us, you know, whether we're non binary, uh, we don't conform to gender, whatever, gay, whatever we may be, you don't consider us men. But then if we talking to your girlfriend, like all of a sudden, all of that pretense of how you just prejudged us when you met us, it don't matter because now we talking to your girl. So it's almost like now we a mean, but you ain't viewed us as a mean before that. You know what I'm saying? But that's just something that I've noticed. Like I remember this weird ass nigga 
was at the bar. And, um, oh, yeah, so I started talking to his girl, and I don't think I said nothing more than, like, hey, excuse me, like, is somebody sitting here? I'm listening to him go back and forth, and he just does some weirdo shit. He was like, hey, um, he said something to me, and, um, let me not say hey, cause he ain't said it like that, but you know, you know how black men talk, hey, you know what I'm saying, on, on average. So, he says that, and I said, yeah, and he said, um, something, and I was like, I can't even remember what the interaction was, but it was so weird, like, you could tell he was being a passive aggressive towards me, and that's another thing, y'all niggas be passive aggressive as fuck. Oh my god, I hate that shit. Like, you got a problem, say it with your motherfucking chest. So I can run your ass over, bitch. The fuck? Let me relax, let me relax. So at any rate, I'm bad at what I was saying, though. <laughs> um, Yeah, he being real passive-aggressive. And um, he was like, hey, give him a shot. Or he said that. And then he said it to my favorite bartender. So I was like, okay, you taking your energy out on all the wrong people. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. I don't know if you need to be on medication. But you you need to calm the fuck down. I just asked your girl, is somebody sitting here or whatever. Like, literally, I, we, we did not have a conversation, if I recall. So whatever we talked about, it, it, it would have been so minuscule. In fact, that's the only thing I could think it could have been. So, like, y'all niggas be weird as fuck. Weird as fuck. But at any rate, y'all proving that therapist point. Y'all proving the point of all those people. I saw this one girl's tweet. Oh, no, the therapist, actually. She had responded. Or no, no, no. She was, you know, she's talking to people about it or whatever. Oh, no, no, no. She tweeted. This was a tweet. She said, a man just called my business line and said, I wish I could stab you to death. Slit your throat. Skin you and wear your face. And then she said, yeah, that would make that. Yeah. Oh, no. He says, yeah, that would be cool. And she said, yeah, I definitely want to work with men now. That has 220 or 272 quotes. And do you know, I could guarantee you, I want, in fact, I'm going to actually go through and find out. But I bet you the amount of fucking mammies and black men co signing the shit. Or laughing at it. I bet you. Let me see it. A uh, therapist. I'm sorry. I'm looking up the hashtag out loud. <laughs> First, let me. I would have played this earlier if I had found it. But here is what she said. Okay, my ass a little high. So, you know, I'm a little slow right now. Don't play with it. Don't, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. But no, for real. Um, I was playing her response. So if I sound like some of this has been chopped up, edited a little funky, that's why I was playing her response. I wasn't reading what she initially said first, <laughs> then, you know, so I could play her response. But at any rate, um, that tweet I meant to bring up though in that time, but the rest of this shit should have went right I'm about to do now read this and then me break down her response video but at any rate neither here nor there I probably could have just not let y'all know that but hey I'm a realist so whatever all right so she initially said I'm no longer accepting male clients they get in my email about inbox and want me to prove why they should choose me as a therapist <sighs> there we go first off who the fuck are you nigga who the fuck are you boy like, and y'all sit, y'all kill me, men like to act so fucking pure and innocent. How many times have you seen a man, oh, um, well, what is she, first of all, y'all all talking about what she bring to the table, child, we so damn tired of that. How you gonna ask what you bring to the table when you can't rent it, when you can't cover it with food because you broke, because you can't keep a job, you don't have no car, you don't have a car, you're 27, but you don't have a car. The fuck? Like, with three kids. And then y'all always jumping on these women, choose better, but you can't even, I don't even think, black men shouldn't even be able to say that shit because y'all have not done the work for this community to provide 
positive black re images and, and and reinforcement and affirmations and y'all haven't raised proper men for these women to need to do all that from and to grasp all that from because we're still living in a patriarchy when y'all signed up to integrate y'all signed up to adopt their system which is patriarchy so men still lead a community so all this black women single mother blaming shit it can that shit at any rate so we're not gonna act like male entitlement is not a thing y'all always hell even something fun as anime supposed to be simple nice and a nice break from reality and y'all bitch niggas always talking about some oh what you know about anime what you know about anime girl you don't know about anime. like and then y'all not funny y'all not fucking funny I can see that a lot of y'all mamas used to laugh at all y'all jokes, bitch. Because they not funny. You funny looking. <clears throat> at any rate. Her tweet follows. No scheduled consultations or nothing to see if we are a good fit. I'm not the one or the two to prove my worth to anyone. Boom. And y'all know y'all hate seeing a black woman know her motherfucking worth. We would not work well together because you already trying me. Period. We black. Like, why is y'all acting like they not trying her by saying why they should choose? Y'all are so used to black men's arrogance. Like, some of us don't even pick up on it. Like, the entitlement and the arrogance that y'all have. And again, Chad and Bradley, for better or for worse, gray in it, you know, there was a lot of slavery and all that stuff involved. Um, I do not discredit the leaps that they have taken to create the system. But they have created a system regardless for their women. And they did that first because they're men. They're selfish. Men are selfish. So they build it first for themselves. So all these excuses about black women, oh, y'all attitudes. No, you don't want to make a better community because you don't want to, nigga. That's it. You don't want to. You're conquered. That's okay. Most of y'all are. And I say that with my chest out, most. At any rate, her message follows, and I'm not above going off on nobody. If you're trying me before the therapeutic relationship starts, I know you out here being a menace to folks, and that's going to activate my nervous system, so now nah, it's a wrap. Now, we can talk about, um, in fact, no, I'm not even, you know what, I'm not going to even acknowledge professionalism aspect because at the end of the day, this community is disrespectful when it wants to be. And it awards a lot of disrespectful and degenerative behavior. Example A, Krishan Rock and Blueface. Oh my God, can't escape them. Y'all love that ratchet shit. Y'all love to see nasty, vile, negative, low vibrational shit. That's what the fuck y'all like. Y'all like this shit. And y'all shit on the positive content. Or don't even view it. Don't even look into it. Hell. Let me look up. Let's do a little experiment. Hey, you guys. If you would like to hear the rest of this podcast, please check me out on Anchor.fm, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other podcasting platforms. Thank you for listening.